Will you automatically get jail time for a drug charge? My name is Attorney Jonathan Mendoza, and I have helped thousands of clients with their criminal defense and immigration matters. And I'd like to break down drug charges into three categories. Number one, being under the influence of a controlled substance. And more often than not, I get people come into my office who have been arrested because they're high on methamphetamine, heroin, uh, maybe a prescription drug, and they're scared because they think that because of that mistake, they're going to do jail time, they're gonna lose their job, etc. Well, I'm here to say that for the most part, for being under the influence, if you have no criminal history, you probably qualify for diversion. And diversion is that upon completion of a class or classes, the case actually gets dismissed. For those that do have a criminal history, you may even still qualify, you may be able to work that out with the district attorney's office, but the worst case scenario, you're gonna get probation, so maybe a fine, classes, community service, but I generally don't see people going to jail for a simple being under the influence of a controlled substance. The second category is possession. Possession of paraphernalia, pipes, needles, or possession of the actual drug, heroin, methamphetamine, etc. Well, similar to what I said earlier, if you have no criminal history, you likely qualify for diversion. And again, a com completion of a class, the case is dismissed. But for those that do have a criminal history like before, Again, probation, community service, a fine, maybe some classes, but that's it. I just don't see people going into custody because they have possession of a controlled substance. And the final category and the more serious category is possession or transportation of a controlled substance for the purposes of sales. You have a quantity of drugs and they find scales, they find baggies, they find text messages, all related to the sale or transportation of drugs. Now, this one's a little bit more tricky because I would say for the most part, if you just have a smaller quantity of drugs and that's it, you probably won't be doing any jail time. But the more you have, obviously the bigger consequences because there's what's called weight enhancements. And if you have certain quantities like kilos of certain drugs, methamphetamine or heroin, for example, they can actually add uh, Penalties on, in addition to the actual charge, five years, 10 years, 15 years, etc., depending on how much we're talking about. So, if you got kilos of drugs, you're gonna have a hard time, and chances are you're gonna be doing a long time. That, of course, uh, is under the assumption that there's not an issue with perhaps an illegal search or there's a way to actually fight the case, which will only be determined when you actually dive into the actual evidence. But at the end of the day, if it's all there, then depending on the quantity, depending on, let's say you have a firearm during the, the possession of the drugs, there may or may not be uh, um, drug uh, jail time, but it also depends on the person. Are we talking about a first time offender? Are we talking about somebody who has been getting in trouble for some time, who maybe has a prior sales uh, conviction? Those are all factors that take into consideration. So I would say for the first two categories, I would not expect somebody to do any jail time. For the third category, it just really depends on the facts and how much we're talking about. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I get people coming to my office on a regular basis. I and mean, I like to explain to the drug charges to them in those three categories so they understand what the real severity there is. Um, so I'm happy to talk to you. Thanks.